nothing appears to have escaped the wrath of the Makode flood waters. Car owners try to salvage their half drowned vehicles along Do Palace Road, Atusa. <laughs> the land vehicles that have escaped drowning have their amphibious abilities tested as they ferry their owners to safety, with many residents looking on in bewilderment. My house is completely submerged. Two of my cars completely submerged. You can see one out here. The other one is inside the compound. And uh, there was nothing I removed from my house because the water had come up to window level when we uh, tried to escape. Whatever household items that can be salvaged are evacuated into a waiting van preparatory to escaping the flood waters. Another victim a widowed mother of five at the BIPC housing estate laments of the extent of damage to the only property she owns. And look at now, we don't have anywhere to stay. Our things are still inside because the time they wake us up, we were unable to pack them outside. So everything is like that. Some will be destroyed. Maybe if the water we will be able to bring our mattress outside to dry. But those uh, electronic, we can't bring them out. The flood is no respecter of persons not even the journalists who report its activities. The media village where most journalists live with their families is also overrun. In fact, if, if not for intervention from uh, neighbors who alerted us, we would have um, probably got drowned in the room. And as you can see, practically everywhere is started. Everyone has left here. It's been four days now, but the Makwede flood continues its relentless surge underscoring the need for the state and federal disaster management agencies to mount an urgent rescue operation towards preventing possible loss of lives from drowning.